cannot achieve success in a business model such as this. And so that's where I had to step back and uh, start at the bottom and um, reach out for help from my um, upline, my directors, my leaders have been absolutely phenomenal in coaching me along the way. But also in order for them to coach me, I had to have the humility, humility in order to allow them to do that. I had to realize what I didn't know and also to, to reach out for help when I needed it. Hmm. You know, in, in addition to that, what, uh, what is something else? Knowing what you know now, that you didn't know when you started, what is something else that you may, uh, which, that you may do differently uh, if you were starting today, you know, with your new knowledge? Well, with my new knowledge, I would not hesitate. Uh, I was a little, I, when I first started, I was a bit hesitant because I didn't know the business, I didn't know the industry, and I was trying to, to find out and to develop a comfort level with the business, but now the business is simple. It's a, it's a simple business model. Not that it's easy, but it's a simple business model. The blueprint is already laid out. Follow the blueprint. Uh, I would have frontlined a lot faster. Uh, I got stagnant in terms of that whole management trap, the Messiah, uh, Messiah principle, trying to help reaching out and getting deeper because I have a really strong passion to help people. And being able to realize that, you know, some will and some won't. And, you know, you can't want things more for people than they want for want it for themselves. So um, that's what I would have. I would have uh, kind of detached a little sooner and um, reached reach this um, milestone sooner in the process. Great, great, great. Um, last question. There are over 1,500 um, listeners on the Zoom today, um, <laughs> many coming out of corporate America. And uh, Ms. McNair, I'd like for you to share with those individuals that are in corporate America, and you coined the phrase that I'll be using, uh, corporate American um, burnout. Uh, many of them are burnt out and don't even know it. What advice would you give uh, your you know, fellow corporate American execs that's on the, on the Zoom today? Um, I would say to realize that um, there is another vehicle, another way, and another level, and also to have an open mind because, you know, we're busy about being busy, but how are we going to change that? What are we doing to change our current situation? Do we want to be busy forever? What kind of levels are you going to be able to reach in corporate America? You're only going to be able to go so far, and then at some point, you're going to be transitioned out because your income and your income is going to, you know, it's just not going to be sustainable. And also you're not going to be able to get wealthy and build generational wealth by working, having someone else control your, your, your income. Wow. Uh, Ms. McNair, thank you so much for sharing. Congratulations. Um, and look forward to hearing from you many, many more times on, on these interviews. I, I am super excited, and, and Mr. Bradley, I thank you so much for this opportunity that we are that you have, and, and also the Planet Pledge is, is absolutely amazing uh, for my son as and my, his family as well. But also helping to free free families, helping to free others. That's what I love about this business, and and that's what I aim to do. And I have an amazing team of champions working alongside of me, and and that's what we're going to do. Thank you. Thank you. More, more to come. I mean, I'm pledging for 2021, and I know uh, you mature enough to know that when you hear someone uh, with the amount of conviction that I'm speaking in and the frequency that I'm speaking about 2021, I, I want everybody to get ready. Again, thank you, Ms. McNair, for sharing so transparently today on the Zoom. Thank you, Mr. Bradley.